Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessie Sage and I just wanted to catch up with you guys because it's been a little bit since I made a video and I have a lot of videos that I want to make. So I just want to say hey and what's up? I even feel awkward like recording right now, but okay, it's fine. I'm just going to do it. It's really hot because my AC is off. Okay. Um, so yeah, so much has happened. Wow. Everyone's probably tired of talking about it uh, because 2020 has just been like so crazy but if you're in the future watching this or if you're an alien from the future one day um there's a pandemic we're all stuck inside if you're lucky if you're stuck inside and safe everyone is going crazy and <laughs> everyone is scared so much crap is happening and uh, there is a crazy I was gonna say alien but if aliens are watching this I don't want to insult them so um there's a crazy person no that's insulting crazy people um Trump is running things in the American government right now so yeah so that's what's happening um so yeah 2020 overall has been crazy but I haven't really been making that many videos because if you guys follow me you know but if you're new you don't know um i used to make a lot of videos with my australian shepherd luca and um <laughs> i got this i gotta get over this part really fast okay um so earlier in december right before january came tw uh december 29th she passed away you guys can go watch about that on my channel if you haven't because I can't talk about it or I'll start crying so um yeah so I haven't been really making videos because it's been really hard for me even just to talk as you can see um and yeah I had like I always have so many videos like filmed and either in my phone or my computer like I've heard other people like other youtubers say like they've never they always just film and upload and I wish I could be like that because I would have like 600 videos by now but um I have so much that's ready and so um I had some stuff that I did like right before playlist with my friend Chris and then we went to playlist and that's like a uh, YouTube online content conference um that was like the week before like the whole shutdown basically happened so that was like the last like thing that I like did like out in the world and then we got back and then basically a shutdown happened um so then it felt weird to just like upload like random stuff when everyone was so scared and people were getting sick and like everyone is just stressed and everything um then we went that through that for a while and then um I did a video see it helped me to like do one with somebody else because I can like talk with them and stuff so I did one with Chris and then I did one with my friend Jessica, that's my most recent video on here, I think, with us talking about America's Next Top Model. By the way, check out my awesome Shanthrax shirt. If you are a fan of Shandy, check it out. She literally made this, you guys. Shandy made this. Okay, more on that later. Um, so we did that um, like Zoom call thing, and um, then like that was like the week right before everything like exploded like with Black Lives Matter and everything was just crazy and like obviously like I have a lot to say about that but also I want my what I say to be useful oh no low power low power um I want what I like contribute to be useful so I didn't want to just like blab about that um like I've been showing my support like in various ways but I didn't post like a YouTube video about it yet so all that happened and I've sort of just been like focusing on like the fact that you know our country <laughs> my country America where I live um, is really really scary right now and um, like what's been happening in the past couple weeks this is this is actually really interesting because like if people watch this 50 years from now they'll be like wow this is what was happening um which is what I do so um what's been ha happening in the past couple weeks is that Trump has been sending federal agents into 
like one of the most progressive cities in America, which is Portland, and they've been just been grabbing people um, without like without announcing, without warrant. They are not wearing badges. They have like unmarked cars. They're renting like enterprise rent a cars and just basically kidnapping people. And um, I think like obviously that's not something that you would just do to one town or one city and not be thinking that you can do it to others. So it's really scary and also, yeah, it's just really scary. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to check back in with you guys and see how you guys are doing. And also let you know a few different places that you can see stuff that I've been working on and stuff that's gonna be coming out. I kind of took a break from filming, like I said, um, after everything with Luca and so I used to have like my Australian Shepherd stuff. I love doing just so much stuff on YouTube and I'm gonna just keep doing whatever I want. But I feel like I've been streamlining more where I've been working more on my website, which is thisoldthing.com. So if you guys are new, that's my website and um, it's where we question history. So all different things about um, vintage curiosities, history that no one knows, or history that's really popular and just like asking like, is that how it really happened? Um, all sorts of things and I also like to have contributors over there so it's not just me but other people too and my phone is like full of this old thing episodes and articles like my phone my Trello it's so full of different ideas and requests from you guys and stuff so um, now I just have to like get it out there I feel like so I feel like I'm ready to like bring it into video form again and also to do a lot more online so I feel like not as many people really know about thisoldthing.com just because like websites aren't as social anymore. So people aren't really used to going to like an actual URL. Um, but I also have an Instagram for it. It's at thisoldthing and old is with an E. So um, yeah, it's the old way of saying it. So I got a mic and I'm gonna start reading articles that are over there and also just elaborating on them a little bit and making these little like pod blogs to go at the top of the website so that way people who prefer or need audio can just click at the top and they can hear it or if you're like cooking and you just want to hear the article out loud you can just like play it so i'm really excited to kind of like tie in my website into me speaking and like you know, make it kind of like all one thing, like YouTube and my website and Instagram and all of it. One of my most recent articles and a video that I made in 2019 that's recently just had a large spike in views and a large spike in comments is my video about the connection between Marilyn Monroe and Britney Spears. And if you guys are following Free Britney at all, then you'll know why that video has gotten a large spike recently because that's sort of exploded and lots more people are knowing about it, which is the fact that Britney Spears has been in a conservatorship for 12 years and that she shouldn't be in it, doesn't need it. A conservatorship is something that basically takes away your rights and gives them to somebody else to control you, your life, your money, your kids, everything. Um, yeah, so everyone's like fighting for that. So. Um, if you are here on my channel from that video, hi, thanks for joining. And I've also been seeing a lot more subscribers from like my Marilyn Monroe videos and my Anna Nicole videos. So that's awesome because those are this old thing fans. So yeah, there's more on the website about all of those things. If you want to see more about Free Britney, um, check out my video if you haven't. Um, it's about like the connection between like mental health and the way that the media portrays women and people and... Marilyn and Brittany and everything. Um, it's long. Um, people in the comments complain that I'm rambling. Uh, I haven't rewatched it recently, but I know that I have a lot of feelings about it. And sometimes when I start talking about either one of them, I like start crying. Um, so I was probably trying to just get all the info out because like I know a lot about it and I'm trying to like get all the info out and like get it to you. Um, because I just have a lot of feelings, okay? I'm gonna make updated videos about that because I have like a lot more info, but I've been putting a lot of it on thisoldthing.com. So check out my article about um, the Britney Spears Foundation and where the money disappeared to. <clears throat> um, and also a timeline, which I didn't write, but it's a really incredible timeline that is updating constantly. Um, basically of her entire conservatorship and you can see proof. So there are a lot of people that are like looking into this um, as like a conspiracy, but it's really not a conspiracy at all. It's just a fact. 
Um, and I too, you know, watch her Instagram and I'm like, wow, what the heck is this? And like, think in my mind, like, what does this mean? So those are valid questions, but at the same time, like, it is a fact that she's been in this and this document really shows it. So, um, I will link to all of that, um, down in the info box and at Leanne something on Instagram, I'll put her too. She's the one that actually wrote that. Okay. So two more things. So my birthday is November 3rd and that is voting day in America this year no matter what Trump says because he's trying to get it changed but he's not the one who can say whether or not they change it so I don't think it's getting changed I'm not excited that it's on my birthday but I feel like it's kind of like it's meant to be or something that is like I feel like that's like on my mind just like looming as a date so um something that's like really on my mind because Kind of in a funny way, I got into it through my Poshmark store, um, following the Reddit for Poshmark. People started talking about saving the United States Postal Service. And I was like, what the heck is this? Basically, Trump is attacking the United States Postal Service because, especially with Corona, mail-in ballots are super important because now so many more people are staying home. Um, but also people are just getting wise to the fact of voter suppression. So. They're like, well, why don't I just mail in my ballot? And then they just can't mess it up. Um, so he's trying to undermine the postal service. And if anyone wants to give me an early birthday present, um, please go to the link below and support the postal service and just talk to people about it because it may sound so weird and random and almost like old fashioned, but it's actually super important as a part of our elections, like I said, and it's just a really important part of a healthy democracy to have a functioning postal service that's not like a privatized thing and that runs like daily. Also, just make sure that you are registered, obviously, and um, go ahead and sign up for your mail-in ballot if you want to. Um, and if you, you know, need to, you can definitely vote without actually going into your polling place. And in a lot of places, there might be super long lines, they might be closing, certain polling places and then they're consolidating so that's putting together more people and so you can get more germs so um yeah it's just a good idea to go ahead and just get your ballot um the deadline isn't like this month but it is smart to go ahead and just do it ahead of time third thing is that the third thing contact your representatives and the people who run you if you're in america i don't know if you're not in america please help us i will help you if you need help but somehow help us. Um, if you're in America, contact the people that run your towns and your states and tell them that you don't want federal agents coming into your town and climbing in your windows and snatching your people up, basically. So it's it sounds like, to me, it feels ineffective to be like, oh, I'm just gonna call you and tell you that I just don't like it when you guys do this illegal stuff. But it actually is important that enough people say that. All right, that's gonna be it for now. Um, let me know how you guys are doing and yeah, I've been keeping up with some of you guys on Instagram and elsewhere, but yeah, just let me know your comments. Let me know how you're doing. I'm sending you all so much love and I know that the world is crazy right now, but just, just know that there's a lot of good. I think it's like sometimes when you're sick, your body has to give you a fever to like flush out that illness. And I think that's almost like what's happening in the world is like everything is becoming very extreme. Um, and it might feel like more like evil is becoming present, but I don't think it's becoming more evil. I think it's becoming more apparent. And I think that actually is a good thing because when you're like going through the throes of your fever, it's like really, really bad and it feels like you might die, but then you actually win over that and you come back. So. I'm hoping and I think that that is what will happen in the world. So, um, yeah, and some people are probably like, I'm just chilling. I don't know why she's so dramatic, but, um, what was that sound? Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been in quarantine for a long time, so, you know, it makes you think about a lot of stuff. So, um, yeah, I love you guys and I hope that you will let me know in the comments everything that you want to see and I hope that you're doing well. Bye!